did you always embrace this role and responsibility? Um, no, I don't think I don't think I understood it. I think uh, I think what uh, I think what happened to my mum probably put me a step back, thinking, well, how could someone who did, did so much for the world and did so much for everybody else could be treated like that by a certain institution? So it's it, it takes a bit of getting used to, but. As I said, you know, it's once once you understand the privileged position that you're in, you've then got to spend the rest of your life earning that privilege and giving back and also gaining the trust and respect of the general public and then using that position for good. What helped you to understand that position that you were in? The younger generation of the world has turned me into, into an optimist because they are the best connected, best, or well, the most passionate uh, generation that I think, that, I think that we've ever had. And what we need to do is be able to create a platform so that they can be heard, because they have the solutions to some of the world's biggest problems. Whose idea was this? I mean, who was it? You or Prince William or? The Royal Foundation? Yeah. I remember, but. Did it, but, I mean, was it just obviously a good idea or? Um, I think, it's, I think it, come, it, comes, it comes with the territory, doesn't it? I mean, once you realize the, the effect that your name and that your position can have, surely all you want to do is, is make sure that you spend every living day trying to bring people together and trying to make the most of that position. Why do you think she became the people's princess and what did you learn from that that informs what you're doing today? Um, I, think, I think she had a lot, of, a lot in common with, with everybody, but also she, she certainly listened in a very, very short space of time. She, she was like a, a, a vacuum going around, sucking up all the information, all of the criticism, all the issues, all the positives, all the negatives from everybody, and then putting her name and her platform towards some of the biggest issues of which have never been talked about. And we, we do, we, in, in society, we suffer from this this, this illusion or this, this, this reality, I suppose, where some problems become so big that nobody wants to get involved. She was the one that changed that. And, and I will always look up to her as being, you know, the, my, my ideal role model, um, because everything that she did and the way she did it was having an impact. It was making a difference. Because of, because of the position that we're, that we're in and the role that we play as part of, the, as part of our institution, um, it's you're in it for life. You're not in it for four years. You're not in it for eight years. You're in it for life. Therefore, everything that we can do has we have a we have a, a, a bigger, longer platform than, than 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 politicians, let's say. So therefore, we can't get involved in certain things. But she rewrote the rulebook. She pushed the boundaries more than ever before, and she was successful. And I think that all of the people that she was working with would be incredibly grateful for, for, for her pushing those boundaries. But, you know, it's not, it's not always easy, but in today's world, I think the boundaries need to be pushed more and more. Ladies and gentlemen, 